All right, back over here at Tony's. Um, just gonna put a couple things on the motor real quick. I don't know if you can hear, but uh, I don't think you can hear it. I can hear it, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, Tony's taking Kristen out in Little Lethal right now so that She can get a feel for the car. Uh, just, it is a street car, tagged, insured, and stuff. Um, but just seeing how the shifter works, it does have manual brakes and manual steering, so he's making sure before we put her on the track that she can stop the car and that she's strong enough to press the brakes because the brakes in that car are stiff. Um, it's got disc all the way around. We did the disc conversion on the rear. So, I don't know why they're stiff. We bled and bled and bled and bled and bled. It might be the position of the rod or something, but uh, they are stiff. They're not super stiff, but she is 130 pounds. So, and then once she's strapped in and stuff, we wanna make sure that she's able to actually stop the car because there's no chute on it. Um, she won't be going fast for her first few times for a while. Uh, we're gonna detune the car to where it's like a mid eight second or so. She should cross the line at like 60, 70 mile an hour. But yeah, let me flip you around. I just uh, blew the block off and I'll show you what we're doing. All right, front cover. I'm gonna take it over here and give it a bath. Give these a bath. I got the oil pan, I gotta blow it out and everything. Um, we're going to put the Top cover on, I got an IC2 billet cover over there. I forgot my windage tray, but I am gonna go ahead and put the old pan, just put a couple bolts in it, put it on. That way, um, and kind of start sealing this up and keep it from just having a towel over the top of it. Head stud should be in tomorrow, so this video won't be out. So this video will be two parts, like two parts, same video. But all right, let's get to it. Okay, first issue I'm running into with these link bar lifters. Uh, flip the motor over, they start falling out. He seems to lack the basic intelligence required for pretty much everything. Um, I'm also having a problem with, this is the pickup for the oil pan, but, uh, it is hitting the studs and then this hole here is not big enough for the stud to go through so let me uh i'm gonna go ahead and toss this cover on here and stuff some rags or something in there so they don't fall over when i flip it over three days later We are back. Look what we did. Look what we did. The heads are on and they're torqued down. Um, a buddy told us to pack the pump with Vaseline. <laughs> Gay! Um, and it will help with the first startup. Um, also, I got the oil pan on with the new windage tray. So. Let's throw this front cover on and we will throw our valve train in there 
Now when we take it off the stand, I've got to pull this little guy right here out. And that's the stock one. I have, it's in the box over there, a billet aluminum one to go in there. Yeah, that's what we've been, been knocking it out. Um, the time lapse you've seen uh, might come over and we got into a debate whether or not to uh, copper spray the head gaskets. Uh, Mike said no. The internet said yes and no. We were under the yes assumption. So we rolled the dice and asked the six year old if we should spray him or not. And he said yes. So that's what we did. But yeah, let's, uh, let's throw this front cover on. We painted it up. Got a new seal in there. Got my bubble gum welds all done up. Um, start us on. We'll start working on the valve train. Alrighty. I didn't put the, uh, there's no gaskets in here. And the valve train's not in yet. But, uh, I got a little ahead on myself. Put the intake on. We're done for tonight, so just wanted to see what it was like. Almost together. And one more trip over here for a couple of hours and uh, we'll have it together. Tony wants to paint the intake. We'll probably pull it off and do it. I mean, it's just a stud kit, so. Yeah, there's no rocker arms or nothing in there. There's no gasket on this. I just round down, wanted to see what it looked like. So, uh, there it is. It's pretty much together. GoPro's messing up a little bit. I'm still working it out, but uh, throwing these in here, spraying down with some red mags. We're gonna brush them off, clean them up, go blow them off with the air gun. That way we can get these motherfuckers clean. Push rods are in. Turn the motor over to make sure they're all seated. I gotta blow these out with the air hose. Clean these up real quick. I'm gonna try and do this with like one ish hand. Tony's over there hammering some stuff out. All right, so they're all on. I've spun the motor over a couple times. Does anybody do this with one hand? I don't know if you'll be able to notice, but uh, it feels like choppy, like clunk, 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 clunk. This is the first time doing it. This is my first time building a motor and it's got pretty high compression, so I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Like it's smooth and then like right there, Stops. And then it's like really fucking hard. And then it's smooth again. So I'll get Tony over here in a second. See what he thinks. Oh, we have figured out the issue. All the exhaust are tightened down and it spins over fine. Trying to do this one handed. See, spins over fine. The moment you take one of these puppies down, oh, hang on. Oh, watch. You didn't actually hear it. Swing on this. 
and you hear that click. Something what the fuck? Something's not good. Something's not happy. This has turned out to be one of the most fucked up days of my life. Alright, it's hard to see, but we actually have fucked up. Fucking embarrassing! The zero is right here. So, uh, we actually have it advanced six degrees right now. So, we're gonna pull everything off, reset it back the right way. Uh, I was buttoned it up, ready to go home, and Facebook told me to check the timing on the cam. Good thing we did, because it's wrong. So, uh, pop this off, put it back on right, and then try the rockers again and see what happens. All right, so it's back together. Me and Tony figured out what the issue was. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> And uh, now it turns over like it's supposed to. So the motor is assembled. Nice. I got to get a throttle body gasket. We'll toss the headers on. They're sitting in a box. I'm going to clean the flange all up. Tony's talking me into painting everything black. So we might roll it out there and just rattle paint everything. But uh, yeah, that's it. All done. The headache's over with. Got to put the back cover back on still, but she's ready to go in the car. My motor mounts will be here this week. I appreciate it, everybody. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have some work to do.